It's a dangerous, unpredictable journey, hiking miles of open desert, dodging violent drug traffickers, and desperately trying not to get caught as they attempt to cross the border from Mexico to the U.S. Many are left battling dehydration, hypothermia, and heat stroke. To discourage Mexicans from trying to make an illegal run to the border, the town of El Alberto has a bit of an unusual tourist attraction. It's called La Caminata Nocturna, or the Night Hike. And for 250 pesos, which is about 20 bucks, they say you'll get to experience just how tough crossing the border can be. ¿Quién es? Vamos pues. Locals and tourists alike lined up to get loaded into trucks to begin their border crossing experience. So I hopped in with some teens to experience it with them. ¿Estás nerviosa? Sí. ¿Sí? Mucho. ¿Sí? ¿Por qué? Nunca había salido tan oscuro. No, tan oscuro. For some people, the simulation is all just fun and games. Por lo que nos han comentado, sí, soy una actividad muy padre. Cansada, entretenida y muy padre. And for others, the simulation touches a bit closer to home. Mi padre dijo que nos teníamos que ir y pues nos fuimos. When Luis Felipe was just 10 years old, he and his family left their home in Guatemala to head for the United States. They survived the journey, but facing a growing risk of deportation in the U.S., they have since returned to Mexico. Luis says he wanted to experience the simulation because it's an important reminder of what his family went through. There were many similar stories in El Alberto, where just a few years ago, residents were leaving to cross illegally to the U.S., threatening to turn El Alberto into a ghost town. So back in 2004, the town began offering La Caminata Nocturna. Since then, the population of El Alberto has nearly doubled, and more than an eighth of the people there are now employed by the park. Last year, more than 6,000 visitors took part in the border crossing experience. We pulled up to an abandoned church and met with our guide, Titi, a coyote, or migrant smuggler, paid to transport people across the border. He went over the rules, move swiftly, stay safe, and most of all, stay quiet. It wasn't long before Border Patrol or La Migra was on our tail. Come on, Venezuela, come on! The Border Patrol agents, or the people playing Border Patrol agents, just caught us. So our guide told told us to just run for it. They caught a couple of people, some women, some children. Um, we're still running, hoping that we don't get caught. Even though we knew the border crossing was fake, fear and adrenaline took over, and this simulation began to feel very real. There were injuries along the way. Some people even had to receive medical attention before continuing. This gave the rest of us a chance to catch our breaths. I think it's very difficult, right? It's very difficult? Yes, what valor. Is it what you expected? No. No? No? What did you expect? That it would be easier. More easier? But La Caminata isn't meant to be easy. The employees here warn that a real border crossing is even harder, and sometimes deadly. No es un entrenamiento como decían, a veces nos malinterpretan. And the actors here do their best to show the harsh reality of what could happen. Nos va a ayudar. Este, a frenar lo que es el mundo. A lo mejor en la vida real es muy difícil, es muy feo. Y solamente tratamos de hacer esto para que así la gente no siga emigrando. We spent the next five hours crawling through tunnels, marching oh, through mud, great. and jumping over streams. All while avoiding la migra and bandits that were trying to rob our group of supplies and kidnap our women. The journey was long and difficult. Some were lost along the way. But for those of us who finished the hike, we were given a moment to reflect on our experience. It's been especially impactful for me personally because uh, I'm the son of an immigrant, so it's something that I'll definitely never forget. Julian Dujeric, Channel One News.